Talk sports now, Kyle Kraska, as it's a historic night at Crypto.com really Arena. Is. There's also talk about the next era of L.A. basketball. And this one's going to be very impressive. After so many years of misfires and third cousin status, owner Steve Ballmer is poised to elevate his Clippers into a new home, more befitting the future that he envisions as crucial to elevating his team to a world brand, one on par with the Lakers and the Dodgers. Today, we got a fresh look at his creation, the Intuit Dome, scheduled to open before the 2024 NBA season. The cost is a reported $2 billion dollars for Balmer's basketball palazzo, as he once called it. Clippers players on hand for today's special viewing. The Intuit Dome is being touted as the latest and most modern incarnation of fan interactive arenas. For now, however, as you can see, still heavily under construction, though we did see the team's logo centerpiece and the chalk outlines where the floor will eventually be laid. And of course, at the center of it all, the always charismatic owner, Steve Ballmer. I'm pretty fired up today. I got to say, I come by here maybe every, really every two weeks. We do a formal little walkthrough uh, once a month, and it's pretty stunning. Best seats, most leg room, most head room, easiest to see. A couple tricky things. We're actually going to put some chips and lights into the seat, little joystick almost controller to just do a little juice with the fans from now time to time. Toilets, 1160 toilets and urinals, three times the NBA average number of toilets and urinals. We do not want people waiting in line. We want them to get back to their damn seats. <laughs> uh, I love it. Toilets. <laughs> Russell Westbrook and other Clipper players took turns signing the ceremonial steel girder before it was literally raised to the roof to complete the frame. And then a makeshift hoop appeared, and Clippers guard Terrence Mann did the honors. There it is, dropping into its first ever dunk, likely sealing his place in dome history. Remember that if you're ever on Jeopardy. And one of the features the team is most proud of is a section of vertical seats that will be known as the wall. 51 straight rows, steep as hell, no sweets, uh, only Clipper fans allowed. We'll explain how we do that later. Nobody else, 4,000 seats, standing room only section in the middle, kind of trying to do really like almost a student section of excitement on this side. <laughs> you think he's fired up? Wow. In fact, that's the very first thing he said is, I'm fired up.